everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to share with you a couple of projects that I've been working on from Angel Dream Crafts, Kim on Etsy. And I will have a link to Kim's shop below, as well as a link to all the other designers on the team. They have been just putting out some amazing work, so be sure you go over and check them out. And uh, I'm gonna start with these little gift bags that I created. Kim is now carrying fabric in the store and we're all very excited about it. And this is uh, one of the uh, beautiful fabrics that she has. Um, I think she has another shabby chic one and then like a Mary Antoinette and then a vintage um, Valentine's and then she also has um, like a tulle fabric um, that I'll show you in a minute. So I decided to use this beautiful fabric to make a couple of bags and I wanted to make them very simple and I didn't put decoration on them because I didn't want to cover up the beautiful um, pattern. I mean, it's just so pretty. And all I did was um, uh, thread some twine uh, with a needle through it just to have a little pull string. So very simple bag to make. But then I wanted them, of course, to have some embellishment. So I kind of made like a bag, uh, a bag embellishment for each one using um, some goodies from Angel Dream Crafts. And so this one is on a doily. And it has a lovely dangle from Kim's shop. I like this one because if you wanted to, you could add um, rhinestones or clay flowers or pearls to the little um, round dangles. I think that would be so pretty. And then on top of the dangle, I put the double layer polka dot tool trim in this um, like mauve color. It's really pretty. And then I put some of the pleated tool trim in the uh, beige. And then I just collaged on top of the doily with some of the pink bridal trim and some netting. Uh, polka dot netting and then I popped on one of the bows from her shop and then this is one of the beautiful uh, clock face cabochons she has such a great um, variety of cabochons I love them all and um, on these two bag toppers I did use the clock faces and then I put these really beautiful little ribbon rolled roses that she carries in the shop on the side so I just made those to kind of pop right on top of the bag and isn't that beautiful so this is the other one that I created the same way again on a doily using all the same bits but this is what this one looks like will it focus no it never focuses when I want it to <laughs> that would be silly so I just thought that those were really really cute so I made the little drawstring bags and the bag toppers then I created some lavender sachets in heart shapes and what fun were these to do and look at how cute they are so I used a pink cotton fabric I had in my stash and then I covered it I have some more of it you can see it right there in the beautiful fabric that was surrounding my DT package this month this stuff I love it I only used a little bit that's why I didn't cover the back with it too because I'm trying to save it <laughs> so I just covered the fronts of the little uh, sachet pillows with it and then I put um, on the back of this one I added the pink tool trim and then uh, I put this like pleated uh, satin trim on top of that. And then when I sewed the little pillow, I sewed this beautiful trim from Kim's shop that was in my last DD package on top of this one. And then I made a sari bow out of the beautiful sari silk I got in my DT package. And she has sari silk in so many colors right now. And I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Then I popped on a bow uh, she carries these little bows in her shop and then I put on the uh, little heart charm isn't that pretty little rhinestone heart charm from her shop they're so cute and I filled it with batting and lavender that I got from the store that I work at love it I work at a health food store and we sell a lot of herbs organic herbs for teas so I just grabbed some organic lavender to make up some sachets and that's the first one 
and then here is the second one I made very similarly um, you can see more of that fabric on top though I love it and this one I added this beautiful trim from her shop I added the same things around the edges and uh, made a bow with the sari silk and on this one I added one of these little rhinestone heart charms and I just wanted to show you the difference um, this is the one that I added but she also has this bigger one so those are um, I think she has them both still in the shop I'm not sure but these are the difference between the two I absolutely love them both but on this one since I was thinking this could just tuck in a drawer I decided to use the little one on it aren't these so pretty they're just pretty so I made those two like that and then I made a bigger one I mean the pillow is literally the same size it's just the tool trim on these I trimmed to make shorter and on this one I decided to leave it <laughs> so that's how big the tool trim is and um, I used this really beautiful uh, rose uh, lace from her store to sew on the back there and then I added this gorgeous pink pink bling from her shop so this one's a little grander <laughs> but it's still beautiful and smells like lavender and it's just gorgeous. So those are my little makes. And um, if you're interested in a lavender sachet, I will have them linked in my Etsy store and my store, my Etsy store is linked below along with Kim's shop where I got all the amazing goodies to play with so that you can get some and make your own. And I hope that you're all doing well. Don't forget to leave me a comment and a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.